Hello, today I'll be reading a story from Cab Publishing, published in their Crazy Cab Stories, Volume 2. It's called The Magical Keys and it's by Isaac Manuel, aged 8. One morning it was Ben's birthday. He got £40. He didn't normally get £40, but his stepdad gave it to him the night before, after coming home late and smelling of beer. He decided to spend his money by going to school in a taxi cab. He called for the cab and waited outside. A portal appeared in the street. It looked like a circular rainbow. A taxi cab came through it. The taxi was dark as coal. He opened the taxi cab door and got in. The driver looked strange, with long grey hair over his deeply wrinkled skin. He wore a black cloak as dark as night. The driver's tired face was as pale as the moon. He asked where Ben wanted to go. Ben said he wanted to go to his school. The driver asked him for £10 and shouted, Abracadabra! A portal opened in front of the taxi. They drove through and found themselves in front of St Glenn's Primary School. Ben left the taxi and skipped merrily into the school playground. He spent his whole day thinking about his funny morning journey to school. It was better than taking three buses full of miserable, dull faces. After school, Ben went to the nearest telephone box. He called the taxi cab again. Just like before, a rippling portal opened and the taxi cab came through it. Ben got in, paid the old mystical driver his money and found himself in front of his tall flats again. Ben's mother asked him how he got home so quickly. Ben said he had called a taxi cab on his own and his mother frowned. The next day, Ben called for the taxi cab again. This time it took longer than before for it to arrive and no portal opened. As Ben got in, he could see that the driver looked miserable and glum. What's the matter? Ben asked. My brother stole my precious magic keys, replied the driver. Your brother? Ben questioned. Why did he do that? He's been really jealous ever since father gave the amazing magic keys to me and not to him. Why didn't your dad give your brother the keys? Ben asked curiously. He didn't trust him, the driver continued. These magical keys make me able to travel through time and space and our father knew that Aaron, my brother, couldn't be trusted with them. Last night Aaron came into my house and stole the one key that allows me to travel through space. What about the time key? Ben blurted. I still have that, otherwise I would have been even later in arriving here, the driver said. Why don't you use your time key to travel back in time and catch your brother before he steals the space key, Ben said with a smile. Of course, the driver cried loudly, his miserable face coming to life again. He muttered a spell and then the taxi cab was in front of a tall old house in the evening. They crept silently into the house and up the stairs the driver saw his wicked brother sneaking quietly into his room. The driver leapt at him. Using a thick rope, the driver tied up Aaron and dragged him outside into the cold night air, while Ben called the police. The driver then took Ben back to Ben's school at the correct time and gave the power of flight to Ben for helping him. Ben never had to take the bus again. <laughs>